everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. All right, so I got something cool I think you're gonna like to see. Um, you probably can tell by the thumbnail already that it's interesting, it's fun, it's cool. Um, it's right here. Uh, what is it? Um, it's a target. Now, we're getting ready for 3D season here in uh, Kansas, so it's nice to have a target. I've got a few out in the uh, outdoor range, but I like to have one in my downstairs archery range, as you guys have seen before. So it's nice to have that 3D target sitting in here because I can just get up from work like when I've got some free time at work uh, or uh, over a lunch break and I don't have to go outside and put my shoes on or any of that other junk. I just get up. We're Canadian too, by the way. We don't wear shoes in the house. So that, that might be weird for some people, but okay. So anyway, that aside, get up, I go over, I can shoot from there and I'm shooting at a 3D target. Yeah, I've got a, just regular uh, spots over there that I can shoot at and I have a target wall and stuff like that. I'm very lucky, yes, thank you very much. I'm very fortunate, but unless you're shooting at a 3D object, it's a whole different game for me at least anyway. I, I feel like it's a different game. Um, it's not the same. You don't get that same feeling. You don't get that three-dimensional, if you will. Uh, but anyway, so this was a really cool one. Um, so it was on sale at uh, Shields. Uh, you look them up if you don't have a Shields in your neighborhood. We, we have them here, uh, but you probably get it for the same price almost anywhere. It was around a hundred bucks. Uh, that's a lot of money. That's a, It's not cheap, but for Reinhard Target, that's a pretty good deal. I don't think they got a cheaper one. So here it is. Oh. My dogs are gonna love this. Ooh. All right, all right. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna show it to you. Then we're gonna set it up. Then we're going to shoot at it. And I'm gonna talk about how easy it is to pull the arrows out of the target. Um, you know, with my bow weight and poundage and stuff like that. But before we do that like to thank all my sponsors of the channel. It's been amazing, all the Patreons that have uh, come on board recently. Here they are. All right, all right, we're back, we're back. Okay, listen, um, here's this uh, Shields target. Sorry, Reinhardt target. she is it's tiny it is tiny 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 <laughs> um and it's kind of freaky i don't know i don't know if i love it or not or i hate it or what's going on with this one but it's got like a mouse in its mouth and it's smaller than a small dog but if it's the same foam that Reinhardt uses, like the insert is for sure. This is this is a lot harder. Yeah, I, I don't know how if I love this. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be sturdy, whatnot, but there it is. Can you see that? It's not even really well done. Um, the mice are, we the, it's got two mice in its mouth? Maybe just one. Or it might be a squirrel. It looks like a mouse. Anyway, there's my dog yelling and barking. All right, and it does come with, just so you know, Does come with the rebar, two rebar, go in the bottom of the legs here. Um, you know what a 3D target is. Let's go to the range and shoot this sucker. Talk to you in a minute. Okay, so this was sort of my old one that I was shooting at. This is an Encore target, and it did pretty good. Uh, lasted like thousands and thousands of shots. Um, and then just blew out, it's, it's not much good anymore. Um, a little bit, but this is gonna be much better much better to put in look at this dog he's so tiny uh, cutie um and then i've got one of these have you ever seen one of these things before so when you don't want to put rebar in the ground you use one of these things and it sits like that it should fit it should match up against the bottom feet of this guy i have a feeling it's not going to not even close <laughs> So what to do, what to do. Um, I don't know, I'll have to figure that out. Also, I'm putting it on top of a table here so that the backdrop is actually my um, uh, my target. I don't know what to do here. I think maybe just put one in and that'll be enough. And then I'll shoot it. So it'll sit like this. 
maybe. Seems pretty sturdy. Eh. I'll probably screw these in to the table. I hope there's holes here. Anyway, I'll screw this down, take some shots, I'll take you along with me. See you in a minute. If women don't find you handsome, they better find you handy. So we got this screwed in. Look at that bad boy. But this is still moving around a little bit. You have to figure out something for that. Um, I think I got an idea. Oh, ho, 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 ho. baby. Tilted a little. That's all right. Hey everyone, so here's my final reviews and thoughts on the Reinhardt target that's behind me. So you got to see me shoot it a bunch. Um, I put holes all over it uh, and you'll be able to see them right here. And so uh, do, do I think it's a good buy? I do, I personally think it's a good buy. Here's the reasons why. The price is okay um, and just check your local retailer and see what they're, they're charging for it. I wouldn't pay over a hundred and say 10 bucks, 115 bucks for it. But if you can get it at that price, I think it's a buy if you're serious into 3D archery and you want to get down in your basement or in your garage and you want to shoot at a small target. And that's what this does. I mean, yeah, it's tiny. It is tiny. You can't probably even tell how tiny it is, um, but it's tiny. Um, so, But it's made out of good material. So this is really good. This is the typical Reinhardt stuff right here in the middle. This is a little bit harder, but it's still better than some of the other targets that you get from other manufacturers. I'm getting, not going to name any names, but it's still better. It's a little hard. Uh, it's not that difficult to pull arrows out of, especially if you're just shooting a 40-pound bow. This is about 45 pounds, uh, my draw length. It was hard for me to hit with this guy. I'm not going to lie. This bow has been shooting pretty good for me. Um, but I really had to slow down, I had to focus, I had to concentrate uh, to hit the target. You have to do that anyway when you shoot. Um, I started off at 20 yards, I missed all over the place. Uh, thank God there's a backstop here, I didn't break too many arrows. Uh, but then I moved back into 15 yards, and then at 15 yards I was uh, sort of nailing it there. Not, not really great shots, but you know, I was getting used to it. But that's what I love about this target. It's tiny, so the tinier the target, the more you gotta focus, the more concentration you gotta put onto the target. Yeah, sure, the center's the same size on every target, right? I think that's the famous quote. But this is intimidating. You walk around that corner, you, you walk past that big elm, and there's this tiny little target sitting about 15 to 18 yards. Um, I like being prepared. So, you know, you gotta fight, uh, you gotta practice the way you fight. And I think that, you know, being able to shoot a small target and having confidence on this target, I think it's going to help me this 3D season. So I hope it does. I hope this review helps you out. And uh, until we talk again, man, hunt the good stuff. We'll talk to you soon. Check out CD Archery Performance ILF Risers for hunters to world champions. CDArchery.com. Made right here in the United States of America. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, ArcheryPass.com, for all your traditional archery needs. Are you shooting? Yes. <laughs> uh, don't shoot the tab, obviously. <laughs>